Hey loves, today I wanted to come to you guys with kind of like a talk to, talk to, talk through, get ready with me video. I'm gonna be going for like a bronzy look, I don't know. I have some errands to run today, just figured why not get ready with me. Wanna get ready with me? Anyway, so yeah, my skin is and yeah, I'm just gonna zoom in and uh, get started. Okay, so I've already moisturized my skin when I washed it up about half an hour ago and I'm going to be using my It Cosmetics number 50 Serum Collagen Veil Anti-Aging Primer and I don't know if you guys can see that but I'll zoom in and that's what that looks like. Just kind of get the center of my face. that settled into the skin I'm going to go ahead and use this Revlon photo light photo ready skin lights face illuminator and this one's in peach light I got this for a dollar at Walgreens like in one of my hauls and what I do is just put some on the back of my hand take it with my finger and just kind of put it on the high points of my cheek where I kind of want a little glow in case I forget highlight but I kind of like it it's I don't know, it gives my skin that extra dewiness. I'm going to put some in the center. It gives me a little rosy, sunburnt look. I'm going to put foundation over it, but for the most part, this is what I do when I want the glow. For foundation, I'm going to be using a sample that I got from MAC, and this is their mineralized skin foundation. I guess it's just a mineral foundation, and I like it. It gives me that nice dewy look this is actually the only MAC foundation I feel that works well with my skin so I'm just gonna take my Real Techniques spongy thingy yeah cuz this is what we're gunning for looking crazy I kinda just take some because I'm not getting it out of a pump yeah I don't look scary at all do I this sample has lasted me a long time and I think I use quite a bit not really but you know whatever I don't know how's that I don't know <laughs> if you're looking if you have like really dry skin and you really don't want to try like too many MAC foundations but you kind of want to try one definitely ask for a sample of the um, mineralized foundation. Now that I've got my dew on, I'm going to use my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I don't know what kind of get ready with me video this is, but this is just one that Evie's winging. I'm going to use the point of my uh, Real Techniques Perfecting Sponge and use this very, very nicely. And I'm going to use this on my lids as well as a primer because this works really well as an eye primer. I really like this concealer a lot. I just, I, I use it, I don't know, I have so many concealers, I guess I try to give them all a fair shot. I'm taking my finger and just kind of pushing it into the skin. Because I have lots of wrinkles on my eyes. I'm old in my eyes, I have old eyes. Is that even a thing? A little bit of my L'Oreal Visible Lip CC Cream. I haven't used this in a while, I kind of want to. So I'm just gonna right here right here right there and see if that covers up a little bit more of my sallowness i haven't had much sleep and i'm kind of sad today and that's why i wanted to film because filming for you guys makes me a little happier so and i need this concealer <laughs> i'm ghosted out Is that word ghosted out someone please help me okay now that i look like complete ghost I'm just going to powder and I'm gonna use my what is this I'm gonna use my physicians physicians formula matte translucent whatever powder and I haven't used it in a while I did hit pan but I've been using my Rimmel and another powder oh I've been using a lot my Cody airspun which I love but that's a lot more a lot more coverage like I feel Especially when I pound it on. So as you can see, it really does a good job of mattifying. And I'm just going to put it on my lid. So my eyeshadow can go on a little better. I'm sorry I keep looking to the left of you. Yeah. Yeah. 
my viewfinders right there and I, I don't use the monitor that I used to use. So now I go by the little viewfinder and I just try to make sure that I am focused and this video is probably going to be very long because I keep rambling. All right, now that I'm mattified even though I want a dewy, we put makeup to cover up our red cheeks to put blush on top of it. Do you see where the logic is? I love it. So now we're going to go working for the eyeballs. All right, I'm going to be using my Lorac Pro Palette because I'm obsessed with the. I'm going to be using Sable this pretty brown right here so I'm just going to no actually no we're not gonna use that brush we're not gonna use you brush I'm going to use my Sonia Kashuk 109 brush I think I'm gonna to have to invest in the Sigma version of these which I forgot if it's called the E40 don't know lightly tap sable because I know it's a dark color and I'm gonna use this on my crease and if you're looking for like a nice brown like a nice matte brown reach for one of your bronzers they work perfect as like a crease color I use them all the time when I'm too lazy to grab a palette that's what I do you can see I'm just like free balling it I have to do it so I'm just bringing it all the way down past my eyes my stomach's gurgling and I don't know why I ate actually honestly haven't even used this shade yet go figure have I I've used Espresso, which is the darkest brown, but I haven't used this one. Oh, blasphemy. I'm going to take the shade Mauve, which is a really pretty, like, purpley color. Here, I'll zoom in. I'm going to take Mauve. I'm going to take Mauve with the same 109 brush. I did wipe off the brush. And I'm just going to take it and bring it above the crease. And it kind of gives it that, I don't know. You okay there, Blue? All right, so that's enough with the crease, blah. And I'm going to go with uh, gold and light bronze, but I'm gonna go for the gold first, as you can see there. I'm gonna use my fingers, so I'm gonna take my ring finger and tap on the gold, and I'm gonna put this on the outer. Actually, I'm just gonna put it on the lid. This is a very antique gold color. It's very bright. That's why I'm going to use the light bronze on top of it. Next color I'll be using is the light bronze shade, which is right next to the gold. Right there. Using my finger again, because I'm too lazy for brushes. And just tap it on top of it. And it just mutes down that gold a little, which I like. I'm going to go back to Sable and actually no, what am I going to do? I'm going to take my Wayne Goss brush, my 04 brush. Uh, you can use any small like kind of crease brush. I'm going to go in with Espresso, which is the deeper brown shade. And I'm just going to kind of hit the outer V a little bit just to give it a wee bit of depth. Not that I need it because my eyes are kind of sallow as is. We're sunken in. And I'm just gonna tap, like lightly brush it in. As you can see, I tapped off the excess. Anyway, I'm gonna take another Sonia Kashuk brush. This one's clean. This one has no product in it. And I'm just going to buff this out. Blend, 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 honey, blend. Now I'm going to take my Real Techniques, uh, what is this called? My accent brush. I love this brush, it's one of my favorite brushes. And I'm gonna go in with the light bronze and go on the inner corner of the eye. Just to give me a little highlight there. A little, a lot. Actually, I could have been using the mirror on the palette. I I'm smart like that. I'm gonna take a little bit of that sable that I used on the crease and just bring it on my lower lash line. Same brush, I don't bother. Okay, so I'm going to be using a brown eyeliner. I'm gonna be using the Wet n Wild Mega Eyes. Like It's like a marker, it looks like that. And it's brown, so I'm just going to be using that. I'm just so used to the thinner ones from my Jessie's Girl. Okay, so I'm going to take my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in yogurt, yogurt, and I'm going to go on the waterline with it. 
I'm going to do my brows and I'm going to be using my Anastasia of Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade and this one's in Ebony and I have been reaching for this a lot more lately which surprised me because I was so addicted to the pencil that yeah so anyway the brush I'm going to be using is this the elf small angled brush I was using one of the Anastasia brushes that came with one of my kids but I feel like that brush just puts on too much product do my brows okay Who's a little upset because Angie hasn't come into. All right, I got it. He hears my daughter walking back and forth, and uh, he's seemingly a little perturbed that she hasn't come in there to like bug him. I think I have mastered the way to do my eyebrows. It's taken me a whole like two years. I ever had that one brow that just you wake up and it's like bam, fabulous, and this one's like. Eh. Okay, so I'm going to be highlighting and I'm going to be using my Cindy Luminizer. I'm just going to go on the tops of my cheeks. Cheeks! Go on my cupids well. I'm going to take a NARS Eda brush. I showed this on my Instagram. And this is like super soft and fluffy. I don't know if it's authentic or not, but it's called NARS Eda. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to take my bronze booster, my Physicians Formula bronze booster, and just kind of contour, kind of, sort of. No, we're contouring, I guess. I love it. Let's take a larger fluffy brush and the same Physicians Formula bronze booster and just go on the neck. I'm going to be using the Balm Blush in Down Boy. I like it. It's like this perfect pink. And I'm going to be using an angled brush. This is a faux MAC one. And I'm just going to lightly tap. And just kind of bringing it back rather than, I usually bring it up forward, but I'm going to curl my lashes. All right, so I'm going to be using Urban Decay's Perversion. They sent me the sample. I guess to try it out and I don't know how I feel about this like this is the softest brush I have ever had I've ever used like I love brushes rather than um, rubber bristles on my mascaras that's just the thing that I prefer and these this brush is so soft like you don't feel it going on your lashes but it's pigmented like this mascara is really really dark I don't need that many coats to darken up my lashes, so. And it doesn't like weigh your lashes down, which is nice. So if you're looking for really soft mascara and you're okay with spending like the 20 something dollars for it, I don't know if they raised the price on that along with everything else. They, they look soft. I'm gonna get my fingers dirty here, but like it's so soft. Onto the lips, I'm going to be taking my Jordana Easy Liner. These are one of the best lip liners ever. I just love them. They're retractable. They're soft. This one is in Baby Berry. I recommend you pick them all up. I have, I think I have all the colors, most of the colors, whatever. And I'm just going to line my lips because it's so easy to talk and line your lips at the same time. One moment, please. Okay, I'm going to be topping that with a nude and this is... Ferris Nude by L'Oreal. It is one of my favorite nudes for summer. Ooh, they're dry. Mm hmm. Ugh. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a paper towel, a little piece of paper towel, and kind of blot. Not kind of. I'm going to blot my lips. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look at that. You want it? <laughs> and then I'm going to be using NYX Butter Gloss in Apple Strudel, which is one of my favorites. It's like an orangey color. 
not orangey. It's like orangey pink. So anyway, I hope you guys like this look. This is pretty much it. I think this is perfect for an everyday summer look. It is a little bit on the smoky side, but I have deep set eyes, so I feel like this look is suitable for me a little bit more. You can always use a more natural uh, cut crease or a natural blending shade or whatever you want to do. But I really like this, you know, pink lip with a bronzy look. So anyway, I hope you guys like this video. Please thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'm going to try to shrink this and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye.